fewer glasses do you ever just they are just so dirty but you can't find like the thing to clean them with so you just suffer it's just me okay hello everyone and welcome to a new video today i am doing my february tbr i don't know when it happened but apparently i almost started doing monthly tbrs because i realized they're kind of fun february is a new year obviously and it is also blackathon in that month and i of course wanted to participate this year because i participated last year and of course it was a lot of fun i didn't like participate in anything on twitter and instagram i never do that with any of the readathons i'm in but i do like to read whatever they give us to read i was gonna say i looked at the challenges this year and i don't have the books right now to follow challenges so i just looked upon my kindle and saw all the books that i had by black authors i wish i had more there's reasons that i don't have more but there are also excuses i just realized that i thought i had more books by black authors or with black main characters and i just realized that i need to do better i could give you reasons slash excuses for oh i only buy things on sale etc etc but basically there's no need for that i just need to do better and i know how more books by black authors at home so when i get home later in february i'm hoping to pick those up and also i just need to reflect more upon what i pick up not just on my kindle because there are limits on sales but just when i pick up books at home and decide to buy books and reflect more and buy more diversely and think more i thought i did that already but i think i just want to do even better i like to follow challenges so i'm sad that i'm not following them I did want to fulfill the challenges though, but alas, here we are. The first book that I had for Blackathon would be Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds. This one follows Jack and he falls in love with this girl named Kate and apparently, according to the synopsis, Kate dies but he get a chance to maybe save her. So it is a contemporary love romance story but it seems to have like a sci-fi time travel aspect to it. So that sounds very interesting. I saw a lot about it on like my twitter feed and stuff and when it was on sale i was just like yes and the cover is also very very cute so i'm hoping i will enjoy this a lot we then have the bells by danielle clayton this one is set in this world where beauty is everything and i believe that they get these maybe operations alternative things to change them so they will be beautiful because people have been comparing it to the ugly series by scott Westerfeld, which is a quite old but popular dystopia why series though by a uh, white dude and this one has like the similar concept to it i've been hearing about it since it was released and have been like yes please give it to me so when it was on sale i was like Yes. The next one I have is Dear Martin by Nick Stone. This one follows just these and he writes letters to Martin Luther Jr. So I believe maybe the story is told in letters but I'm actually not sure because I haven't read it yet. But he writes letters to him because he has things to say and this one is actually really really short. It's like 200 pages long and I've been hearing about it since it was released and again when it was on sale I was like give it to me. So I'm very excited to finally pick this up. The next one I have is Odd One Out, also by Nick Stone. These were on sale at the same time, so that's why they came together. This one, I believe, follows three different teens, and they all, like, the stories told from all their perspectives, but you never, like, hear from them again. Like, book one is one of them, book two is one of them, book three is one of them. So I believe, like, you get all different kinds of their stories, and I think some of them is in love with some of the other ones, but I don't know who yet, because I haven't read it yet. I was interested in this one, because I was interested in Nick Stone from Dear Martin, so I just, when it was there, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to pick it up. So I'm hoping to enjoy this one as well. We then have The Obelisk Gate by Anne Key Jemison. This one I actually purchased the audiobook for, and it's the sequel to The Bone Season, by the same author, obviously. I read The Bone Season in 2019 and I really, really enjoyed it. It's like one of the really big fantasy series sets and I've been hearing about it for forever, so I was really happy to pick it up when I did. But oh my god, how to describe even what it's about? Like, I am still so confused from the first book and I'm hoping the second book will make me less confused. A part of me wants to like reread the first book physically, so like I get in the whole story, but I'm also just like one jump into the second book, so we will see how it goes usually when I read sequels things start clicking in this place by themselves even though I haven't reread the previous book if it's been a while. So I'm hoping 
hoping it will be fine. But basically in this world, there are these people who have these powers to create earthquakes and there are just lots of secrets. There's this one character who goes, for example, to the school to learn about their powers and it's just told in different perspectives. And I don't want to say more because it's kind of spoilery, but like it's very intricate and very cool and I really, really enjoyed it. So I just, I want to read the rest of the series. So it's perfect for now. That's why I decided to pick up the audiobook. Also, I listened to the first one on audiobook, so it felt natural. I also decided to pick up Black Leopard, Red Wolf. And if I say the word Leopard, Leopold, Leopard, wrong my friends were bullying me but that's fine I just i can't speak english it's fine by marlon james and this one is the first one in the trilogy and i have been seeing this around and i've been so curious for what it is all about and i just read a tiny bit in the synopsis right now and it says that it is about these people finding a missing child and it is an adult fantasy and i'm just so curious the cover is so pretty I am a bit trash for pretty covers. I'm just very excited to see what it's about and just discover this story. And I will talk about it, of course, in my wrap up to like give a better synopsis. I just don't like reading synopsis that much before picking up a book. Okay, I'm sorry. And I'm just very, very excited for this. If you didn't know already, my goal for 2020 is to read 300 books. So I need a lot more books than these to read this month. So what I decided to do for this video is to randomly pick books to read because right now I am in Japan and I don't have all my books here so I have like a very limited amount of books on my Kindle obviously which I've only been buying sale things on because I think I have 70 something books here and I want to pick a random number right now here in this video this is what we're here for to pick my rest of my TBR for the month I think when I go home I will probably pick things off my shelves hopefully more for Blackathon but I do realize because I do know what I have on my shelves that I don't have as many books as I thought by black authors and I am disappointed in myself and I just I want to do better okay apparently I have 69 books on my Kindle right now. So let's pick out random books because it's not always fun to be forced what to read. I'm also generally just very an indecisive person. I will have this random number generator from one to 69. And I will just tell you the book because I'm too lazy to like show you the whole list. We got the number 22. Let's see what it is. Also, I need to count how many books I already have. Okay, I only have four physical. So I need like at least 10 plus more. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, what did I get? 22. 22 is Daughter of Smoking Bone by Lena Taylor, which makes me very happy because I've been wanting to read it since I read Stretch Dreamer last year. So I just need an excuse to pick it up. I have the whole series on Kindle as well because sale. I am just very excited. So what I am going to do now is just like remove this. So like the number will be lower for every round we have. The only rules in this is that if I get a book later in the series, I will pick the first one in the series. So like I'm not reading the third book when I haven't read other ones. Daughter of Smoking Bone. Let's go, let's go. Do I need to say what these books are about? Because I probably don't know. So yeah, sorry. From 1 to 68, we get 54. Oh, 54 is Enchanty. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Which was a new release from last year. And again, I bought it on sale. I don't know why I keep saying that. I bought everything on sale, okay? And I don't actually know anything what it's about. I just saw it around and I was like, I've seen it around, I want it. That is the whole story behind that. I don't even have a physical copy of it back home, which is like usually be my rule that I buy things on sale that have physical copy on home. So like my TBR don't get bigger on Kindle, but I didn't follow that rule because I was here too long and I went crazy. One of 67, 18, what can it be? Crimson Bite by Ben Anderson and Danielle Rose, I believe. So I read Ben Anderson's other book, Cloaked in Shadow and Found in Night, but I haven't read the last book yet. And I really enjoyed that. I just, I don't like the cover of this book, but I picked it up when it was announced and stuff and it seems could be fun. I think it's very short. I think it's like 100 pages long. Okay, one of 66. A part of me wanted to read all my Kindle books before going home, so like I didn't have like a lot of Kindle TBR, but that's not gonna happen. I got 23, so what can it be? It's Beyond the Darkened Shore by Jessica Blake or something. And this one I only picked up because I know it was like a Perilute pick for the month once, so I just picked it up because it Again, it wasn't sale and I'd seen it before. Do I know what this is about? No. It's probably like the old, uh, typical uh, why a fantasy, a girl, something, finds her powers, something. Someone dies. I don't even know. 
You know what I mean. I enjoy those a lot if they are good. <laughs> one of 65. You got 10. Very nice round number. And it is Batman Nightwalker. So I finally read Wonder Woman last year and it's finally time for me to pick up the rest of the series. I'm fine picking this up. I think also that is really short. So this is very bad because I need longer books, but not really. One of 64. 17. 17 do I need to show you. Blood Rose. I don't even remember which book that is. It, I, it's like on the side for you, but what is it? Oh, I think I got this for free once when like publisher of tomes like celebrated their something anniversary and they had free books and I had just been seeing it. So I was just sure I would pick it up. I think, I don't know, but like I would read it because I have it, but I think it would be my usual, usual typical way a, you will see how much I enjoy it. Don't judge a book by its cover, Sandra. It's rude. So out of 63, we got 36. Onyx and Ivory, which I have back home on my shelves. I got it in a fairy loot. I don't actually know what it's about. I read a synopsis when I got it, but I've forgotten it. So it's one of the other <laughs> YA fantasies. That is my jam, but also very repetitive sometimes. But yeah, we will see how I feel about this one. I'm like really killing my TBR right now. <laughs> Feel really proud. So one of 62. This is taking forever. I didn't know it was gonna take this long. 43. Let's see what it is. Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. So this is her other series based on Japan something, isn't it? It was like a thing where like it said it was a Milan retelling, but then it wasn't after all. So that was awkward. But I do have it at home as well. Don't have the sequel though. They changed covers and I got really sad because Cover change hurt my soul. I will be excited to pick that up. I have enjoyed her other books, so yeah. So the next one is 48. The Star Church Screen! Finally! So at the time of filming this, I have not read it yet, but I'm reading The Gilly Wolves in January. And I read Arusha, and like Roshna Chakshi is my author crush. So I'm really excited to read like everything by her, which I have like, I have it all on my shelf back home. I think it will be great. 27. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, Stolen Enchantress. This one, I think I just saw on sale and I was like, it has a cute cover and it was a retelling of like Sleeping Beauty or something. So I picked it up, but I actually have no idea if it's good. Like I've seen no one talk about it. Did I care? No, I just did it. I got one. Number one, I think I know what it is. Yes, it's vinyl. And I had the whole series because sale. And I actually don't know what it's about, but I just kept seeing it and I was very curious. And it's been there since like I got my Kindle. <laughs> so apparently, finally I'm gonna read it. It's the first one in the series as well, obviously. So yeah. We are up in 15 books. When should I stop? We got eight. Ooh, it's Ice Wolves. And this is by Amy Kaufman, which I also do have at home. And it's like a middle grade and it seems really, really cute and great. So I'm excited for it. So that's a great pick. Some of these I'm really unsure about. <laughs> so clearly like buying certain things when you just like see something, it's not a clever idea, but you never know when you're gonna find something that you don't expect, of course. So I am up in 16 books, but I do actually need to read 25 every single month to reach 300. I do, no, I'm not gonna read 25 in January. I think I like, I need to upper myself in February and also I don't have any schools. I think I should pick more, but also like, what if I don't make it? And I will go crazy if I don't make my TBR. So I think I should pick a bit more. I should pick 20 and then like, yeah. I also have a flight ride home from Japan, which would take me like nine hours. So like, if I'm behind, <laughs> I have something to do. Let's keep going. 55. Oh, this is Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Sky. I still haven't read her other series. I don't remember what it's called. I have them all at home. 56, lol, which is an absolutely remarkable thing. This one I also have at home and have been wanting to read since it was released, but you know, picking up new releases and not actually picking them up, that's me. So yeah, 25, 99% mine, which is like Sally Thorne's other book. I read The Hailing Game in 2019 and I did not like it, but I already had this one at that point. So I'm hoping I will like this much more than the other one. Okay, this is the last book. Let's go. 30. I like n round numbers. 30 is Kingdom of Copper, which is the sequel to City of Brass. So I will be picking up City of Brass instead of Kingdom of Copper because that wouldn't make any sense. I only heard great things about that series. I think it's like Egyptian 
inspired perhaps if I remember correctly so I'm very excited for that one okay I picked 20 books for my TBR but some are very short and I think if I somehow read more you will see my wrap up I also didn't pick my audiobooks in this one because I'm not sure actually what I would pick on my audiobooks I want to be a bit more spontaneous for that and also like I don't have that many on audiobooks so it wouldn't be fun to randomize I already have two audiobooks planned for Blackathon which I am participating in the way I can. But yay for randomized TBR. I actually don't know how this would turn out at all because I didn't think it was gonna be this dance. <laughs> but I had already decided to do it, so here we are. Thank you so much for watching. This is my February TBR. If I decide something fun for my March TBR, I might make one, but we'll see. We'll see. Yes, this is it. I just want to talk about Blackathon and randomize the TBR for you guys because I did it in December but I didn't do it on video. It was great times. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. You will see me soon in a new one. Bye bye.